We are learning more about a viral video that shows Fairfax County Police drawing guns on a teen who was recording cell phone video. News 4 Darcy Spencer is live outside of the Fairfax Police Headquarters where police just addressed this incident. Darcy, what did you learn? Well, Pat, the chief of police here wanted to hold a press conference this afternoon to provide context to that video. He quoted Paul Harvey saying that he wanted to give the rest of the story. And to set this up a little bit, that video shows two police officers pointing their guns at someone who was recording police officers. Let's watch and listen to a little bit of that interaction. Why point the gun on me? Why point the gun on me? What weapon? What weapon? Huh? But you look dumb, bro. The now, the chief explained that police had detained two juveniles in connection with a call at an IHOP in Falls Church earlier. Now, a worker claimed that she was assaulted and one of the juveniles had displayed a handgun in his waistband. Now, police say while they were detaining the two suspects, that third suspect walked up. They say he was not just a random person on the street, that he was connected to this incident and that he began recording with his phone. You hear the officer telling him to get down because he has a weapon. He responds, what weapon? Now, the encounter has led to criticism over how police handled this incident, but the chief says the officers acted appropriately because it was possible that the teen with the cell phone could have been armed orders him to drop the gun and then I think she changes some of her language or the other officer does that speaks to the fact that it's a cell phone and not a gun. Um, I, I don't know what was running through her head, um, but she's responding to a 911 call for a person or persons with a gun. So that's just something that, that she said. As some additional details that we found out this afternoon, police did not find any gun in connection with this case on any of the juveniles or in that area. The three teenagers were released to their parents. They are not facing any charges at this point. This whole incident is under internal review. Now, during the press conference, the police played body camera video from one of the officers giving their perspective on this story. They're expected to release that video to the public sometime this afternoon. Of course, we'll have it for you when it comes out. Back to you. Darcy Spencer reporting live at Fairfax Police Headquarters. Thanks, Darcy.